<laughs> Captain. Captain. How cool is that? Good morning from our third day on the River Nile cruise. We've made it all the way from Luxor down to Aswan and today we're going to spend most of it relaxing. So we're just on the boat and the captain came over and said, come with me. So, <laughs> see what we get. Habibi, Nilo. Perfect. Nilo Habibi. Learn it all when they're young. Yeah. <laughs> that was like the sweetest thing ever. They just kept being like, Capitano, Capitano. Putting us up on their chair, making us touch all the buttons. I loved it, they were so happy. And his laugh was the best thing. <laughs> We knew that when we were coming to Egypt, we really wanted to do a Nile cruise, but when we looked it up online, they all seemed really expensive or not very good. When we got into Luxor, the tour manager of the hotel managed to set us up on this cruise, which is about $45 per person per night. We'll show you what that gets you. At the moment, we're up on the beautiful sun deck in the lounges area. There's an awesome pool so you can cool off from the Nile heat. And on the other side, there's like dining tables and chairs. That's where we have our tea time every day. So if we go down one floor, that's where our room is. There is a gym on board. I put that in quotation marks. I'm pretty sure they've just chucked two bits of equipment in there so they can say that they have a gym on board. So this is our room. It's quite spacious. We have like a chaise chair, a big king bed that's really comfy. Both have bedside tables with outlets. There's a little TV that has movies going all day. Everything you could need. Through here is the bathroom. So there's a lot of area for storage. There's a bath, plenty of towels. It's a regular looking toilet. Probably our favorite thing about this room is that this massive window opens. downstairs there's more so this is the lounge area it's got a fully stocked bar and windows on both sides and last but not least this is the restaurant where we come for an amazing meal for breakfast lunch and dinner day on board this beautiful River Nile cruise so we're gonna try and make the most of it and go and see the unfinished obelisk which is an obelisk that they never finished because really far into the manufacturing process they found a crack in the granite apparently it was gonna be one of Egypt's like finest monuments but it just never got finished morning aboard the ship whoa almost fell off and we're going to see the unfinished obelisk there is no uber in Aswan and we're not greeted by the normal crazy mess of people trying to take us somewhere so we've decided to start walking and hopefully we pick up a ride along the way there <laughs> This is 
is so cool. We are the only ones here and our guide just took us around. Definitely not on the path. Like we went down into one and we could see the bottom where they just had to chop it off and it would have been a proper obelisk. You can see on the walls all the marks from where they're chipping away and then you can see where they've been rubbing it to sharpen their tools as well. It's just insane that they had this all figured out. So our guide just told us the Nile used to come all the way up to here. A little bit lost in translation whether it actually came here naturally or they dug channels for it to get here. But they would hoist up the finished obelisk, put it on a felucca boat and ship it all the way up to Cairo. So some of the obelisks we've already seen in Luxor and Cairo came from here. Crazy. activities today so next thing on the schedule is our last tea time but then apparently we get some Nubian show tonight don't really know what it is but we're excited no tea time again I'm so sad it was our favorite part of the first two days and we were told it would be on again tonight but at least we get the Nubian show tonight that'll be a nice way to end the cruise yeah we're not sure what that is but yeah should be cool Like that.